All right, here's our turbo. First thing we need to do is take this right here off the V-band clamp. Once you've got the band off, you need to separate the two halves. What you want to do is you can use like a chisel or something. And just start separating. Once you get it sufficiently broken loose, and work your way around. So you're able to separate it. See, I've spilled some oil and all into it. Now this is your unison ring. What happens is that this moves back and forth, and the blades underneath it. That's how that moves. And what you do when you clean this you slide this out and you clean the veins and all out so you would take a uh, you can take some any, really anything you've got um, to go through and clean this these guys all come out one by one clean all that area underneath there. I'm not gonna go through and actually clean all this because I've already cleaned it. I cleaned it prior. I have a little smoky start up there when that all comes up, huh? Now what you wanna do is set your, you clean all this area out real well, take your unison ring. This is kind of the fun part, is getting everything lined back up correctly. It is kind of a pain. I find Usually it's easiest just to get one lined up and kind of work from there. At least that's how I did the last time, so let's see if it works for me again. Alright, there we go. Everything's lined back up. And then what you've got to do is line this with this. While making sure that you have to line these two parts, this and this, line them up here and here. So they're going to be about 90 degrees to each other. Is usually what I strive for. If I can send them about 90 degrees to each other, it makes it a little easier to get it in. You clean all that down. I actually put some um, anti-season all over there. Uh, I'd recommend some higher temp anti-season, just the usual stuff, because it didn't seem to last. But at least I was able to pop this apart fairly easily. 
So what I like to do is I'll take the pin, I'll line it up, and then I'll take a little flashlight and I'll look through here until I get this lined up. Ugh. Because I can move that back and forth a little bit. By that I mean I can actually grab this, twist it a little. There we go. Let's make sure the unison ring is actually in place. Oh, there we there we go. Alright. Just take your time, go slowly. Don't try to beat it into place, you'll just end up damaging something. Once it's in, just some light taps around. Make sure we're seated. And then we can go ahead and tighten our clamp back up. All right. Getting a started is the hard part. Once you got it started, it's pretty easy from there. Um, any particular place I want this to sit? I don't think so. I don't recall there being any more specific set. I think back here will be just fine. And we'll tighten it down. You know what, I am going to move this to where my mounting bracket goes, and I don't want this to be in the way. That would really aggravate me. So I'm just going to loosen this up. There we go. That should keep it out of the way of everything. Snug that down. Make sure everything spins fine. All right, that is how you take the turbo apart for cleaning and all. Now I'm gonna go put it back on my truck. <laughs>